All right. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am your Dragon God of Gaming, Damian Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of the gaming news, where I run the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out of the gaming industry this week. Hope everyone is having a wonderful WrestleMania weekend. I hope everyone is having a wonderful time. You guys are awesome, and I love you guys to pieces. But we have a couple things today. We have something on Ubisoft and E3. So, let's not waste any more time, shall we? Let's get right into the news. Alright, starting off, Ubisoft. Apparently, Ubisoft has gone quiet for a bit because they are doing some top-level work. That's right. It is being reported that at least four announced, unannounced games are being developed by Ubisoft. Obviously, if you don't know who Ubisoft is, you're literally living under a rock and have never touched a game. And with that being said, how did you even find this channel? Why are you even here? And do I need to call the family that you are part of? That sounds very weird, I'm sorry. Anyway, Ubisoft is the, the minds behind the biggest franchises in the gaming world. Games like Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, Rainbow Six, and more came from them. So you know the games are quality work. According to Tim Henderson, Ubisoft has four games yet to be announced, and we are all chomping at the bit to know what they are. Both from existing and new IPs, which means we are getting new installments from established franchises, and we're also getting some new, fresh games being put on display, which is a tease in and of itself. The prospect of a new original game from the minds of Ubisoft is a godsend, and I personally cannot wait to see what they announce. <laughs> okay, to give a little bit of topic on what I think it is, first off, I would like to have a little bit more in the way of uh, the Assassin's Creed game. The last one was, I believe, Valhalla, and they are still talking about... Um, you know the new installment of the Assassin's Creed franchise that has yet to really be the uh, really be determined. So what I personally think is, I think they do have a Assassin's Creed game to bring to us. Hopefully, maybe. You know, you never know. You never know. But I would like to see it personally. I hope you guys would too. Anyway. Let's move on to our next piece of news for the day. And our final piece of news for today. E3. Now, you guys know what I'm about to say. If you guys know or keep in touch with the gaming news at all, you guys know what I'm about to say. I'm sorry for lovers of E3, but this year will not happen. E3 2022 has been cancelled, which was revealed by IGN. Also reported, the ESA didn't plan on hosting in-person events to their health concerns of the ongoing virus back in January. And, did, and through this statement was given, there are, was no mention at all of a digital event would happen either, so we won't be getting a digital one either if your hopes were high. There will be one taking place next summer, but for the second time in three years, E3 will not be held due to the virus. Yep. It's, it sucks, but it is. But I do want to call a little bit of attention to this real quick before we end off. Uh, minutes after word around E3's cancellation started to spread online, this is actually word for word from Kotaku.com. Their link will be in the description down below. Um, Jeff... Kaylee, the host of the Summer Game Fest and the Game Awards, and the owner of a seemingly bodiless sneaker closet, tweeted out a winky face emoji. The Summer Game Fest Twitter account, meanwhile, reassured followers that its event will kick off with a live showcase with details to come. And yes, that means the Game Awards and Summer Game Fest will still be on for lovers of, game, of gaming, gamers, and everything of the sort. So, if E3, you were hoping for E3, you can at least get, you know, something on your plate. 
just a little bit of that, you know, nice news, you know what I mean? Anyway. <coughs> Did the whole E3 thing uh, upset you? Let me know. Because I hate when, like, game events like this, you know, they get, you know, cut. So, it sucks. But, hey, it is what it is. So, tell me what your favorite piece of news was today. Tell me what game you think, personally, it will be that Ubisoft will be uh, unveiling soon. So, let me know. Personally, I want that new Assassin's Creed game to be revealed. Or, you know, something sim something similar. <clears throat> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you guys had a lovely day and hope everyone enjoyed the rest of their day. Um, tonight is WrestleMania Night 2. I cannot personally wait to watch. Obviously, as you guys know, I used to run a thing called the WWE Roundup with my co-host 2E5 but that doesn't happen no more but I'm still a huge fan of, of wrestling in and of itself not particularly WWE but just wrestling in general so Wrestlemania is going to be awesome me and my little brother are, are going to be watching I'm not going to be uh, streaming at my normal times over on Twitch so yeah anyway Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you guys have not yet, go down in the description down below and click on the links, read a little bit more. But also while you're down there, go check out all of our lovely other creators that we do. We have a lot of fun here. And if you guys like my stuff, you guys are going to certainly like theirs. So go check out the rest of the wonderful bunch of coconuts. So, anyway. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. But it is time for us to end off. You guys know the deal. You guys know my squeal. Good gaming. Happy hunting. And I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time for some more gaming dragon action. Peace.